So I decided to put a 40 inch LED light bar on my truck. Uh, it's a rough country. I want to show you guys what I did to put it on, where I ran everything, and just how easy it was. Uh, I, was I wanted to put it on the top, but I ended up putting it on the bottom of the grill, and it just worked out a lot better. Um, so let's pop the hood here. Alright, so Rough Country comes with really nice cables. Uh, I know they're not the best light bar, but they do a really great job with the equipment they give you. Uh, I ran it from the left side of the battery because the left side of the battery has connections um, to put accessories on. Put the ground on the body over here and not the battery because it's just easier. Um, ran these right here, the relays, and then ran everything across the top. Uh, I drilled into the plastic up here and I put them uh, hand length away and just ran that across. Now one really th handy thing about the Fords is that they have the uplif uplifter switches and it's really handy to not have to run anything through your firewall. Because this one has the daytime running light and the light itself, there's two different switches on it. And I'll put the colors and stuff what they are um, on the screen now. But I took this cable off, it connects to... Uh, the cable splits in two, one goes to the power straight to the, the light bar and the other one goes to the, um, the module switches. So you basically cut those off. I'll pull it up here. So you cut them off. Uh, you don't need to use the red or the, bla or the black. Red's power, black is ground. You don't need to use those, so just cut them and put something over them so they don't touch anything or mess with anything else. And then the white and the blue are what you're going to tap into on the other ones. And I think it's purple and orange and green and orange. I'll put a picture of what, uh, what it is. But basically one is for the daytime running light and the other one is for the actual light itself. So on the inside of my cab, we put, for number one, it's the daytime running light. And for number two, it's the light bar itself. Then I can run both at the same time if I wanted to, where the switch only allows you to do one at a time. And I didn't have to run anything through the firewall. It's all right here, nice and clean. Um, as for the light bar itself, when you take your grill off, uh, here's a, there's a video up here that I made if you want to learn how to take the grill off. Um, it's really easy, but you do have to cut it. Um, I cut it about halfway with the plastic and then um, from the factory, here's my cut piece down here. Um, from the factory, they have these plugs right here that connect the grill inserts to the gr to the body, and those are located right here. So this part of the grill plugs in right there. And there's a hole just big enough for the factory screws to fit into, so you can just tap into that, and it goes in really nice. You do have to take the headlights off um, to get a wrench in there and tighten it down pretty good. Um, if you need to take the headlights off, there's two screws in there, one up top, and then below this flap down here, there's a screw on the side and those just pop out and the plug in the back just unplugs and it comes off um, really easy. I did take off this bolt up here that holds this panel. Um, helps just take that up a little bit to give you a little extra room to get that out. Same thing on both sides. Now, as for the where I ran the cable up from, um, the cable I ran straight through here, down here. And when this piece comes off, there's a lot of room back here. So just work your way through um, to the top here, make sure nothing gets pinched. And I ran mine behind this area and then underneath where the water uh, water line runs and then just zip tied stuff back there. Zip tied my excess up here. It's a little dark, sorry, but there's like an extra loop or two right here. So being able to run it all the way across kind of helped not having to cut as much as I needed to. Overall, I'm really happy with it. It turned out really good. Um, the curvature of it fits the body really nice. I wish this had maybe a little cover um, that could cover that a little bit better and make it more streamlined, but when you're further back from it, I mean, you can't really, sometimes you can't tell it's there. Um, I usually don't use a daytime running light and I use just the uh, included little plastic cover they have and it makes it pretty dark and you can't really, can't really tell the light bars there. So if you guys have any questions, hit below, I'm happy to answer. And hopefully this helps you guys out.